Hello, world! It's your favorite little lion here, coming at you today with another visual novel called One Night Hot Springs, which in this novel, you play as Haru, a young transgender woman, and you join her at a hot springs in Japan. In fact, Haru was invited by her old friend Nanami to spend a night at the hot springs. And all Haru wants to do is enjoy the hot springs like everyone else, but she doesn't want to cause any trouble. And why do you think she might cause trouble? Well, or why does she think she might cause trouble? Well, it's because she is a transgender woman. So this will be the perfect time for content warning. This game discusses issues that a transgender woman in Japan might face, which is a topic that can be sensitive and personal. And also keep in mind that this does take place in Japan with Japanese characters. So as an American, just want to put out for other Americans and other people from other cultures that this might look differently in our own culture depending on, you know, several factors. But this is the experience of a Japanese trans woman in Japan. All right, let's go. Who on earth could be calling me? Oh, that was a cute beep. Haru, it's been so long since I've talked to you. This is Nanami. Sorry for calling so suddenly. You're not busy, are you? Not busy at all. How have you been, Nanami? I've been wonderful, thanks. And that's why I wanted to call you. My birthday is coming up, and since it's my 20th, my parents said they would let me go on a trip with my friends. So... My plan is to go on a trip to the hot springs with my two best friends. And of course, that includes you. My parents will pay for everything, so don't worry about the cost. Ooh, at 20? Nice. Hot springs? But you, you know that I'm... I know, I know. Which is why I'm calling to talk to you first before deciding anything. Haru, you're my oldest and closest friend. It would mean so much to me if you were with me to celebrate my 20th birthday. But I also want you to enjoy yourself to the fullest. So let me know what I can do to make you as comfortable as possible. Mm, but it's been years since I've been to a public bath, let alone a hot spring. I know, which is why it's a good chance. You'll be with me. So if anyone or anything bothers you, you can tell me. I'm not really worried about me being uncomfortable. It's more everyone else. It's fine. Nobody will pay any attention. They will. How do nobody cares as much as you think they do? I promise. Please come for me. What should I say? If they have reserved baths, sorry, I just. Hmm. Fine. If they have reserved baths, I'll go. Yes, it's going to be the best birthday ever. I'll call you again when everything's been sorted out. Beep. Yeah, reserve baths means um, you get your own room and your own bath, right? Like, attached to the room? She always hangs up so fast. I can't believe I agreed to go to that hot springs. What should I do? How do women behave when they go to the hot springs together? Let's see what the search terms hot springs with female friends gets me. Oh dear, that sounds like it could easily end up being like an H site. Oh, an article titled, When Going to the Hot Springs with Your Girlfriends. You don't have to care that much about makeup, so I should worry about it a little? Don't worry about bus size. Well, I guess I don't really have a bus to worry about. But don't forget to shave. Wait, shave? Which parts? How much? Ah, I just don't know. I'll just have to figure it out as I go. I'll just wait until Nanami calls me with more details. This is enough internet for me today. <laughs> that teeny tiny amount. Good self-control. Guess I'll turn in for today. Well, I guess she did call late, so. How do? I'm really here. What on earth am I doing? I'm not really prepared for this, but I'm here now. I just have to power through this. You can do it, Haru. Haru, over here. Where? Hi, Nanami. 
Oh wow, Haru, I love your hair. Thanks, I decided to grow it out. It looks amazing. Thanks, Nanami. Oh, right, there's another person. Uh, should I go higher for her? I can't do many voices. Hey, Nanami, don't forget about me. Oh, sorry, Erika. This is Haru, my childhood friend. And Haru, this is Erika, my friend from high school. The last name's Nagato, in case you were wondering. I'm Haru Suzuki. It's nice to meet you. You can speak more casually, you know. We're the same age. We're the same age? Yep, or close enough. Erika's 20. Yeah, I heard from Nanami that you two went to the same preschool. Yes, er, I mean, yeah. Wow, you really need to loosen up. A dip in the hot spring would probably do you some good. I know there's like height for yes, and then I guess there's a more informal yes, which is what was captured in that maybe? Nanami, you gonna check us in or what? Right, let's go then. <laughs> Another person. Welcome. Hello, I have a reservation under Tachibana. Yes, we have your reservation. Would you please fill out this registration card? Haru, Erika, could you fill out your information? Yeah, sure. Okay. Time to fill out this form. First, my name. I probably need to write my legal name. And my legal gender, too. I should fill out the rest of the form. 19. Address and occupation. Says Gakusei, so student. And everything else. I'm finished. Me too. Thanks! Here's the registration card. Thank you. Just let me... Hmm? Mr. Haruto Suzuki? I probably need to answer. Uh... That's me, but is there a problem? I see. Your room is a ginkgo room on the second floor. Please enjoy your stay. That's what I was thinking, because I was like, well, if they were doing maybe the open bath, then maybe she would have said, oh, you can't go into the female side. But since they have a private room, maybe the front desk person was like, eh, it doesn't matter, I guess. Let's go to our room then. I'm gonna go buy a drink first. My throat is like a desert. See you back at the room. Haru, you okay? Yep, you don't have to worry about me. Let's go to the room. Haru. At least that's what I'm interpreting as what happened there. Nice, it's a proper, oh, this is Erica. Nice, it's a proper tatami room. Tatami is so much trouble to clean, but I love how it looks. I love tatami too. It has such a nice smell. I just want to lie down and sleep on it. Go ahead. Me and Suzuki here will just head to the hot springs while you're snoozing away. No, don't go without me. I want to go to the hot springs too. I'm just kidding. Though, I do plan on heading to the hot springs ASAP. Too much studying hunched over at my desk lately. I need to give my stiff shoulders a break. Hot springs... We should get changed first, I guess. The Yukata should be around here somewhere. Not here. Or here. Or... Found them! One for each of us. Oh! They're cute! Oh! They're cute! I wonder if they're for sale. Let's get changed, then. I'll change in the bathroom. What's up with... Oh... She might have forgot for a second, but I feel like her friend Nanami should have told her just so that she's not caught off guard, I guess, if she sees any genitalia that might confuse her. Thank goodness that the Yukata are unisex. I just hope that it's big enough for me. It looks like it should fit me fine. Yukata are all straight lines. So not having a waist or much of a chest is better. So it's perfect for me. I hope I can tie it well. Okay, that's not a good bow. 
let me try that again. Maybe this is a little better. I remember when I wore yukata and then had to learn how to tie the bow. And then I accidentally wore my yukata wrong. I wore like, um, you know how like one half goes over the other half and like crosses in the front? I wore it in the reverse way. And that's the way that you dress a deceased person in a yukata for like a burial. So I was walking around Japan like this and then a nice, Oba-san came up to me and was like, oh, you're wearing your yukata wrong. You have to flip it around. And I was with my Japanese friends at the time. And I guess they just didn't look at me closely or like didn't process that I was wearing it wrong. So then I ended up going to like the bathroom in like a nearby department store and then switching it around. I was like, oh, dear. But she was so nice about it. You know, she didn't say like, mm, this is why. What is it, gaijin? Or a uh, foreigner shouldn't be wearing yukata. She was just like, oh, here, just just fix it a little bit and you'll be okay. <laughs> Maybe this is a little better. I'm okay with this. Also, if you're wearing a little jacket around it, you can't even see the bow in the back. Sorry for the wait. Oh, looking pretty good. Thanks. Yeah. If I didn't know better, I would have thought, uh, Erica! I told you not to say. It's okay. Haru, it's better than the other possible reaction. Let's get going. I need to check the times for the reserved baths. What? You're not heading into the woman's bath with us? That would be a bit too, you know. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Erica, don't. It's fine. I want to check out the reserve baths anyway. Come on, let's go. Yeah, they should all just go to the reserve baths together. Haru, Erica, and I are going to head in then. You don't have to worry about me. I'll see you again at dinner time. That's what she said, Nanami. Let's go already. Ah, don't grab my arm. See you later, Suzuki. Haru. I'm making Nanami worry. I've got to stop that. First, I should find out how to reserve the bath. Excuse me. How may I help you? How do I book the reserved baths? If you mean the family baths, please head to your left and write your name on the room and room on the res reservation list. Thank you very much. The family baths are to your right. Yes, thank you. I came here, but is it really okay for someone like me to head into a family bath? Can you even use family baths on your own? I'd just be taking away a time slot from an actual family. It's just one time slot. I guess it should be okay if I don't take too long. It would be a shame if I came to a hot spring but didn't actually go in. And it's been so long since I've been at a proper one. Okay, I'm gonna return, but reserve a time slot. Let's see. But there might not be none. Yeah, they're all booked. Are you serious? And here I was trying so hard to encourage myself. Excuse me. Sorry, I was just leaving. Would you like to book the family baths? Er, I was going to, but they're all booked. Oh no, I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. May I suggest you enjoy our splendid women's bath instead? We have vase-shaped bathtubs, which you can enjoy privately, like the family baths. If you would like, I can show you to the baths. No! Is something the matter? No, I just... Well, I think the since the front desk lady knows your situation, I think she tried to emphasize that, like, there are, like vase ones that she can enjoy privately so I think that was them saying like you know you'll have some privacy if you go into that one uh it's nothing I know where the baths are so I'll be fine is that so then I hope you enjoy your stay is this like the bath okay the truth is I think that if I go into the woman's bath, it might make the other patrons uncomfortable. That's why I wanted to use the family baths. I see. 
I understand your concerns. However, as it is, you won't be able to enjoy the baths in this wonderful hot spring town. I can't allow that. What? I can't allow one of our guests to miss out on our fantastic hot springs. No, it's my own problem, so... No, you can come to... You came to enjoy the hot spring, so I will ensure that you can. Oh, this actually ended up a lot better. Would you please tell me your name and room? Er, it's Haru. Haruto Suzuki in the Ginkgo room. That would be Mr. Haruto Suzuki Zen? Miss would be fine. Please forgive me. Now, if you would please wait here for a moment. Now I'm even causing trouble for the staff. Guess I should just wait. I apologize for the wait. No, that was hardly any wait at all. With your permission, we would like to upgrade your party to a room with an open air bath. What? Would that be acceptable? I don't want to cause any fuss. It is our way of apologizing for the fully booked family baths. We want all our guests to enjoy our hot springs. It's also a personal wish from a staff member who live who loves this hot spring town. Will you accept the upgrade? I... Is it really okay? Of course! Then, yes please. Thank you very much if you have allow me to accompany to your room. Are you gonna have her tell your friends? Or are they just gonna come back and you're gonna be gone? <laughs> this is the Azalea room. I don't know how to thank you. It was nothing. I hope you enjoy your stay. What a nice person. She said she would tell Nanami and Nagata about the change in rooms too. I don't think people would be that accommodating. Or I didn't think. Maybe the world is kinder than I thought it was. Let's check out the open air bath then. Yeah, when they said reserved room, I thought this is what they were talking about in the beginning, but I guess they just meant like a room to change in and put their stuff in. Oh, well, they're sleeping overnight actually, so I guess they would need a room either way. But I thought all the rooms had like this bath, but guess not. This is really, really nice. The view is amazing. I don't even want to think about how much it would cost normally. It's absolutely gorgeous. Is it really okay to get an upgrade like this for free? Yes. Ah! Stop worrying, Haru. The staff said it was okay, so I'm going to enjoy this. Especially, like, at a certain point in the day. At least, my understanding in America, of course. Like, if a hotel doesn't have a room booked at all, then it's like, they might as well, like, give an upgrade to someone who needs it. Because it's like, well, it's going to be empty and they're not losing money. I mean, I get that they have to have someone come and clean it the next day or whatever. But like, if this room was already empty and not going to be booked for the night, then it wasn't too much of an effort for them to upgrade her. You know? At least, you know, in, the, in my experience in the States. I need to wash first. Oh, I love the smell of the shampoo. Chrysanthemum? It's really relaxing. And this is a charcoal soap? Cool. Now to try out the conditioner. And now to wash it all off and head into the bath. Oh, no, I really want to go to in hot springs. There's not that many in the States, but... There's one in my hometown, it's like a Korean bath, and it was like super cheap growing up. It's still pretty cheap now. I think it's like 20 bucks, and you can go in there for an unlimited amount of time until they close, even if you want. And they have like five different baths, and like, you know, they have the salt bath, the cold bath, the super hot bath, and the bubble bath. And then they have the showers, and they have like a hot sauna room that's dry, and then a wet sauna room, and then they have massages and stuff. It's like so nice and every time I go visit home, I always have to make sure I go at least once because I haven't found another bathhouse as nice. And then there's also other black people and other people of color that go there as well because it's, you know, primarily it's like in a heavily Korean populated area, but a different diversity of people go there. So it's not as awkward for us darker skin folk to go. <laughs> oh wow. I can feel the knots in my nestles loosening. I can't even remember how long it's been since I've soaked in a real hot spring water. 
I can never afford to go to a place like this myself, and I can't go into the regular hot springs. All I've got is my bathtub at home. Although, I'm not gonna lie though, like relative to like American bathtubs, Japanese bathtubs are the shit. Like their baseline bathtub is way nicer than ours because they prioritize baths. So I'm like reading this like, honey, your bathtub is probably way nicer than most of ours out here. <laughs> but you know, if you're comparing that to a hot spring, then yeah, of course, but comparing it to what we have in the States, unless you have like a jacuzzi bathtub and a humongous bathroom, like my apartment right now doesn't have a bathtub. I literally have like a like pop-up one that's like, looks like a barrel. <laughs> like plastic you just I fill it up with the shower head water it's like you know very jank but uh, it's what I have to do if I want to have a bath so I mean you know it's all relative I wish I could stay in here forever But also, like, that's kind of small for a whole family, isn't it? Like, I guess you could fit, like, maybe two people in there, but... Like, I would think if it was meant for, like, a group of people that they would have, like... It would be bigger than that. Or maybe it's just for the art's sake of the actual game. Ah, that was a good soak. I should get dressed. What a wonderful bath. Thank you, staff lady. Wow, time passed pretty quickly. Also, I guess I realized if I want to get all the different endings, I probably should have saved for that other route where she was like, I can find the bath myself. But we'll we'll go through a different we'll go through a few different routes, so no worries. Wow, time passed pretty quickly. Nanami and Nagata should be back soon. We're back! Hey, Suzuki. I heard from the staff that we were upgraded to a room with an open-air bath. Yeah, because the family baths were all booked. Wow, that's so nice of them. The staff didn't just tell you to go to the women's bath? Erica! No, I'll, I'll reply honestly. She did, but when I explained, she was very understanding. Whoa, that's really cool of her. Yeah. I was surprised, but really happy. Did you two enjoy the hot springs? Yep, it was really nice. Yeah, I've never been to such a proper expensive place before. You should have come with us. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, Haru, I think you've got something in your hair. Let me get that for you. It's okay, I'll get it myself. I don't even know where it is, silly. You, you can tell me. But it would be easier if I took it. There, got it. Thanks. Hmm, is that how it is? Is what how it is? Nothing, nothing. When is dinner getting here? I think maybe Haru was concerned that it might look weird if she gets close to her, which is maybe what she was thinking. But they're also like best friends, so like, I feel like unless she's like, oh, maybe she has a crush on her because. She's trans, but yeah, something. Excuse me. Good evening. Please allow me to set the table for you. What would you like to drink? Uh, what do you two want? Er, how about beer for everyone? I'm underage, so I'll just have oolong tea. Right, right. Two beers and one oolong tea, please. Please enjoy your meal. Nanami, are you okay with beer? I've never actually drunk before. It'll be fine. It's your 20th, so you should try a bit at least. Oh, so 20 is her drinking age? If you don't like it, I'll drink it for you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, just more for you. More importantly, this dinner. This looks amazing. Let's eat! I requested a tofu nabe so that we could all share. Don't worry, Erika. It's all vegetarian. You're vegetarian, Nagata? 
Yeah, so it's really tough eating out. I can't even get a salad without worrying about it having animal products inside. Really? Isn't it just vegetables? Haha, <laughs> you'd be surprised. There's stuff like bacon and gelatin sometimes. Yeah, Nanami brought me a potato salad with gelatin and bacon before. But I know better now. Anyway, the drinks are here, so we should toast. You're the birthday girl, so go ahead. Okay then. Thank you for celebrating my birthday with me. It means a lot to have my two best friends here. A toast to my friends. Cheers! Cheers. Now that we've got that over with, let's eat! Itadakimasu! <laughs> this tempura mike take is so crispy. Oh man, this tofu is so soft. It tastes even better with a bit of the pink salt. That was delicious! What is it? Uh, gochiso sama deshita? It's been a while since I spoke Japanese. I'm so full. Of course you are. How many bowls of rice was that? I don't know. I'm at my limit too. You two are idiots. Haru is it an idiot? Neither is Nanami. Such idiots. My body feels really heavy. Ugh. Ah, she fell asleep. Suzuki, can you help me carry her to the futon? Ah, okay. She's surprisingly heavy. Because she does sports, it's the muscle. Really? I didn't know that. Though, I can imagine it. She's always so full of energy. She went out like a light today, though. I think it was the beer. Yeah, trust Nanami to be such a lightweight. Especially if it's her first drink. I mean, I feel like most people are lightweight at their first drink. It's a good opportunity for me, though. A good opportunity? I wanted to talk with you. But Nanami was being all sensitive about it. So I figured I'd ask when Nanami wasn't around. I'm not great with this sort of thing, to be honest. But I really just wanted to understand a bit better. You can tell me to stop at any time if you don't want to talk, so... Mind if we chat for a bit? Nagata is Nanami's friend, so I'm sure she really does just have good intentions. But I haven't really properly talked about this to anyone before. What should I tell her? Okay. Uh, let's do this one first. What do you want to talk about? I'm just a bit curious since you're the first transgender person I've ever met. That might not be true. Huh? You might have met other transgender people before, but you just didn't notice. Mm, maybe. To be honest, if Nanami hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known you were transgender, Suzuki. Can I call you Haru? You can call me Erika. I don't mind. Haru, then. Is that, like, your transgender name? Er, no. It's a nickname from when I was a kid. It's the first part of her birth name, right? It's Haruto, and it's just Haru instead of the To, right? Oh, so a nickname from when you were still a guy? How should I respond? Um, yeah. It comes from the name on my family register. What was your name again? I heard it at check-in. Haruto, right? It's literally just one syllable different. Like, like, I mean, it for the friend, I mean, like, I heard Haru, and I heard Haruto, and I'm like, oh, Haru is Haruto without the to, which I'm guessing the to is masculine, and Haru is more feminine, I'm assuming. So, like, I wouldn't have needed to ask that. Like, it seemed very obvious. But I get what they're trying to convey in this situation. Like, dead names, kind of. I mean, probably. You probably shouldn't ask that sort of thing to transgender people. Why? Asking for a name someone isn't using now is kind of like denying who they are now. So, yeah, dead naming. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean it that way. So, could you forget it? 
It's okay. I actually like the name Haru. It's unisex. Oh yeah, because there was a Haru in Fruits Basket, and he identified as a male. I like to change my legal name to Haru if I can. Oh, I guess since you haven't changed your name, you can't use Haru on official documents and stuff. Yep. I guess your legal gender is still... Yep. It must be hard on you. Can't you change it? It's a bit tough. I would need to get gender affirmation surgery and be sterilized. Oh, so in Japan, you have to have the surgery first before you change? I actually don't remember the whole situation in the states. I, don't, I think it's by state by state basis, I think. The parameters for that. What? I mean, I guess gender affirmation surgery is cool if you want to change your body anyway. But you need to be sterilized? Yeah. Though in some other countries, you can change your gender without doing either. I didn't know. Yeah, there are a lot of requirements. You also have to be above 20, not married currently, and have no kids who are minors. Wait, why do you have to be unmarried and not have kids? Well, for the marriage bit, because if you change gender, it becomes a same-sex marriage. And that's illegal in Japan. Oh wait, when was this game made? And is that still the case? Hold on, I, I have to I have to look this up. I have to look this up real quick. We'll look it up together. Oh, I typed that all wrong. Let's see. Uh, Japan does not recognize same-sex marriage or civil unions. It is the only country in the G7 that does not legally recognize same-sex unions in any form. Oh, Tokyo ruling on same-sex marriage, a sign of hope. November 30th, 2022. Uh, in response to today's Tokyo's district court ruling that upheld the Japanese government ban on same-sex marriage. Oh, Japan court rules same-sex marriage ban is constitutional. Oh, uh, okay. So it is still illegal. Wow, I really thought it was legal in Japan. Damn. And for the children bit, apparently it would be confusing for them or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, it's always such an easy cop-out for governments to just be like, We have to do it for the children. Uh, so I, I saw this coming. What the hell? I know. I didn't make the law. It might get better, though. Some wards allow same-sex partnership now, after all. So I guess it's wards then, like, states where they can have differences in the law and how they do things relative to, like, the whole Japanese government? I didn't realize it was so bad. I'm sorry for asking you so many questions. I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable. What should I say? Tell Erica it's okay. Thank Erica for listening. It's fine. I'm actually happy. Thank you for listening. Hold on. Actually, make it easier. Thank you for sharing with me. Okay, I think that after I made you spill out all of that, I definitely owe you one. Huh? I talked to one of the attendants earlier. Apparently, while their official stance is that you should enter the baths for your legal gender, this is a question they're actually asked quite often, and they decided that it was unofficially okay as long as you don't bother other guests. There aren't too many guests today, since it's a weekday, and she said that the bath would probably be empty around midnight. So? So nobody would have a problem if you went into the women's baths, because no one would be there. I can't just go in. Calm down, it'll be fine. But what if someone's there? The bats are big. We'll just keep away. We'll just keep. We'll just keep away from them. But what if they look? 
They won't look, and even if they do, who cares? If anyone says anything, I'll beat them up. Please don't beat them up. It'll be fine. But, but you were drinking earlier. That was hours ago. It's out of my system now. Come on, Haru. Don't you want to enter the women's baths? You are a woman, too. You have the right. Erica, what should I do? Okay, I'll go. But if anything happens, it'll be fine. Let's grab our towels and go. Wait! Come on! Actually, I think I'll... Come on, you've made it all this way here already. I'll even check to make sure no one else is inside. All the keys are in the lockers. No one's in the hot springs. Come with me? Okay. Don't worry, I'll change over here. I won't look or anything. Thanks. You can head in first to wash. See you later then. Wow. It's so nice in here. The water feels so smoother than the one in the room somehow. That's because it's got lots of minerals in it that are good for your skin. What do you think? Pretty good, right? Yeah. Thanks for bringing me. I don't see what the big deal is. I don't understand why you didn't just come into the bathroom with Nanami and me. You don't get it. What don't I get? Hmm. Let's pretend for a moment that you're in. Let's just go ahead, because we have so many. A school lavatory, gym class. Gym class in high school. You need to change into your gym uniform. Girls change in the changing room, boys change in the classroom. Where do you change? I go to the changing room with the rest of the girls. Of course you would. What if one of the boys tried to come with you? We'd probably call him a pervert. But I mean, you look like a girl, Haru. But I'm not. At least, not physically. Not completely. And a lot of people aren't as lucky with the appearance as me. This isn't just pretend, is it? You're speaking from experience, aren't you? People like you know exactly where you belong, but people like me don't belong anywhere. We can't just enter bathrooms or change rooms or hot springs. If we went into a men's bathroom like this and was seen, I'd be told I was in the wrong washroom, but society tells me I can't use the women's bathroom either. It's the same for the hot springs, so we have to watch out for ourselves, since nobody else will. Well, that, my dear, is incorrect, because both of them, and even the staff member, did look out for you. In this instance. In this particular moment. But, obviously, that doesn't happen all the time. Even though we just want to live like everyone else. It must be really tough for you. It must have been really tough for you in high school. My school wouldn't allow boys to wear anything but the male uniform. But I didn't act like how they thought a boy should act. I got called a lot of names because of that. Yeah, high school students can be vicious. I was at an all-girls school, but things got pretty bad sometimes. Nami never said anything like that. Well, yeah, she's a Nami. Nothing bad ever happens around her. But I was a bit of a delinquent. A bit of a delinquent? Wearing my uniform wrong, fighting with bullies, smoking in the toilets. You know, the usual. Er, I don't know how usual that is. Well, I've got over that rebellious phase now. But I know kids can be pretty awful. Girls, bullying isn't as obvious as cuts and bruises, but it sticks with you. Were you bullied too? It wasn't that bad. I didn't fit in. Nanami was pretty much my only friend in high school, and we weren't even in the same class. My homeroom teacher said it was my fault for not trying to be nice, so I just stopped caring. That's awful. Right? But that's just how things are in high school. The people who don't fit in will never fit in. So it's better to just stop caring and enjoy yourself. With people who don't mind that you're different. Yeah. Sorry for that incredibly depressing speech. 
No, no, I'm really happy you shared that with me. I don't know why, but I feel like somebody, somebody's lifted the weight off my shoulders. Haha, <laughs> then I'm glad I talked to you. Have you ever told Nanami any of this? No. I could never tell her. She's done so much for me. It would just make her sad if she knew. Oh, wait. I'm sure of this now. You like Nanami, don't you? Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. You know that she's... You know, right? Yeah, I know. She talks about her boyfriend a lot. He sounds like a really nice guy. I mean, I don't think there's any problem with that, okay? I dated a girl before, too. Really? Yeah, back when I was in high school, I dated someone at my part-time job. So you're bi then? Bi? That you like both men and women. Maybe. To be honest, I don't really know. I don't care much for labels. But it's cool. You do you. Want to check out another bath? They got a nice hot one in Cypress Wood. Sure! Ah, that was great. Hot springs are the best at night when it's quiet. Yeah, thank you for bringing me. Ha, <laughs> like I said, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna grab a drink. What do you want? Oh, it's okay, I'm fine. Then I'll just choose for you. Wait here for a bit. Erica's an interesting person, but nice. I guess I should wait here. So does interesting mean not nice? Ah, good evening. It was Miss Suzuki, yes? Did you perhaps have a chance to enjoy the women's bath? Why would I say no there? Because <laughs> I completely did. Yes. But only because I knew there was nobody else inside. But I wasn't the one that checked. My friend looked in the changing room for me. So, ah, uh, yes, the baths are, at, are usually empty at this hour. It isn't uncommon for people who want the bath alone to use the bath set this time. So I'm very pleased to hear that you can enjoy the baths. I hope you have a pleasant night. She knows, doesn't she? I mean, is that not... I mean, the asset at least is the same. So I just assumed it was the one that saw that you were uh, born as a male, assigned male at sex, at birth. But she didn't say anything. She pretty much said it was okay for me to go into the women's baths. Yeah, remember? I'm really happy. Hey, got you some herb tea. Thanks. It tastes good, right? When you're done drinking that, let's head back to our room. Okay. Okay, I'm tired as hell, so I'll see you in the morning. Night! Good night. I should get sleep too. I think I'll have good dreams tonight. It's morning. Oh, look who finally decided to wake up. Huh? What time do you think it is? Time for breakfast? Breakfast was over ages ago. It's almost time to check out. What? I need to change. Calm down. Nanami's dealing with that, so you still have some time. Oh. I caused trouble for Nanami again. Hey. Do you have, like, the world's lowest sense of self-worth or something? Huh? You caused trouble for Nanami again? Are you kidding me? She just went to go check out. What part of that is trouble? She's your best friend, right? Would you think of helping her out as trouble? Of course not! Exactly. It's the same for Nanami. Wow, you're really helpless, aren't you? I get that. Come on, hurry up and get dressed. Nanami's waiting in the lobby. Hi, I just finished checking us out. Thanks, Nanami. It's nothing. Oh, and also, I just got a message from my boyfriend. He said he wants to treat us all to lunch. He wants to meet you two. Oh, that's wonderful. Nanami, I'd love to. Actually, I was going to take Haru on a tour around the town after this. Sorry. Really? What? You know, since Haru didn't get to go into the women's baths, I just felt really bad for her, so I thought I'd take her out for a bit. Then I'll go too. No, no, go meet your boyfriend. It's your birthday weekend. I'm sure he's got something planned for you. 
But, Haru, will you be okay? What, me? I'll be fine, Nanami. Say hi to your boyfriend for us. Okay, then. It makes me happy to see you two getting along. Take care of Haru for me, Erika. I'll head out first, then. See you. See you later, Nanami. So we're taking a tour around town? Nah, I just figured that you wouldn't want to meet up with Nanami's boyfriend. But if I didn't say anything, you would have just agreed, right? Probably. Hopeless. Anyway, I do actually want to take a look around town. Not sure where to go, though. Ah, good morning, Miss Nagita, yes? The lady who upgraded our room. Okay, so the assets were the same, but they were different people. Right? I'm not being racist right now, right? The, the staff member is the exact same drawing asset, right? Every time. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you very much for yesterday. It was nothing. If you are planning, if you are planning to visit the town, may I suggest the hot springs in this flyer? Oh? They have a lovely private bath that can be served by anyone. My older sister often goes there. Your older sister? Yeah. Yes. She also finds it hard to go into a woman's baths when there are many people about. Oh, is your sister also? Yes. So I wanted to say, I hope you have a wonderful time here at the Hot Springs. Forgive my intrusion. Ah. Wow, that was pretty cool. It's like, now that you're done here, why not go to another Hot Spring? Well, I guess they keep saying it's a Hot Spring town, so there I guess there's multiple Hot Springs. Wow, that was pretty cool. Yeah, guess we should take the ladies' advice. Want to check out the reserved baths? Yeah. That'd be nice. Let's go, then. <laughs> Erica N2. The world can be kind, too. Oh, so there's multiple endings? I guess that makes sense. I thought it was, like, one of those games where, like, no matter what you pick, you still kind of end up going the same places, if that makes sense. Like, even if she was like, nah, I can find it myself, maybe she would still end up you know, whatevering. But alright, ending two. Okay. Let's see. Let's go from. Let's see. Okay, let's. I guess it might be easier to go backwards from here. Or, wait. The moment where she was like... Yeah, here we go. It's nothing. I know where the baths are, so I'd be fine. Is that so? Then I hope you enjoy your stay. I guess I'll head back to my room. So this is the route where we don't get the upgrade, I guess. I have a couple of hours before dinner time. Anami and Nagata probably won't be back for a while either. How should I pass the time? I might start losing track. Get in a quick nap, take a shower. I still need to wash even if I don't head into the hot springs. Luckily, the room comes with a shower. I know some places only have showers by the hot springs. Let's see what kind of products they have. So they have shampoo, conditioner, and soap. I'm happy they have separate shampoo and conditioner. The combined ones aren't great. The shampoo smells nice. Same for the conditioner. Charcoal body soap. I guess it's pretty popular lately. And now to wash it all off. That was a nice refreshing shower. Let's head back to the room. Wow, time passed pretty quickly. Nanami and Nagata should be back soon. We're back! Hey, Suzuki. Did you enjoy the reserved baths? I didn't go in. What should I say? Uh, there's going to be a lot of different... Let's see. Let's be honest this time. Actually, I didn't go in. Why not? They were all booked. Oh no! I'll go check if there's any way they can open it up. Just for a little bit. 
It would be such a waste if you couldn't go in at all. It's fine. I took a shower and got all refreshed. It was really relaxing. Are you sure? Yep. Did you two enjoy the hot springs? Yep, it was really nice. Yeah, I've never been to a proper expensive place before. You should have come with us. Okay, so this is the same. Let's see, that's the same. Okay, so... Oh, log. Okay. Let's see if there's a dramatic difference if I say they were great. They were great. It was really relaxing. Oh, that's wonderful. Did you two enjoy the hot springs? Yep, it was really nice. Okay. Okay. So let's say I'm a bit tired. Sorry, I'm a bit tired, so... Oh, okay then. Sorry for asking something weird. I'm gonna take another dip in the baths then. Don't wait up. Oh, so this time she doesn't take Haru with her. I must have disappointed Nagata, but I'm not really up for talking about being transgender today. Especially not with Nanami's friend. I haven't even really talked about it properly to Nanami yet. She always just waves it off, saying that it doesn't matter. But it matters to me. It's who I am. That's some of that kind of toxic positivity where you push too far into the it doesn't matter and it's like nope it does matter because it shapes literally my whole life and my experience with the world but just because you don't care that I'm trans doesn't mean that other people don't and that it doesn't affect my life in negative ways so it's kind of like that it's not good to always just be like it doesn't matter because it, it does <laughs> It's too early to sleep, so maybe I'll just rest for a bit. This kind of reminds me of my school trip. I wasn't friends with anyone in my group. I spent all of my free time just hiding from everyone else. At school, I had to wear the boys' uniform, so of course I was in a group of all boys too. An hour in the hot springs at the hotel was on the itinerary, so of course there was no opting out. I had stopped going to public baths ever since I was too old to go into the women's bath with my mom. Even at that age, I wouldn't even consider heading to the men's bath. But the teacher tried to make me go into the men's bath with everyone else. I just hid in the changing room toilet the whole time. I didn't end up going to the hot spring this time either. This trip is definitely better overall. I mean, nobody's ignoring me or calling me names, so... Haru? Nanami? What are you doing still up? Did Nanami hear me talking to myself? I was about to head to bed. Oh, then I won't bother you. Looks like she didn't hear. You aren't headed back to sleep? I'm thinking of going... I am think I'm just going to stay here for a bit. I fell asleep right after dinner, so I haven't had a chance to really enjoy the room. I won't keep you up if you're tired, but... If you don't want to sleep yet, won't you stay up a bit later and keep me company? I can stay up a little bit longer. Yay! Let's head over to the window. The moon is really beautiful tonight. It really is. I love how quiet it is out here. It's like the whole world is asleep. Yeah. It's too bad you didn't get to enter the big baths. But I'm glad you got to enjoy the reserved baths. How do? Ah, yeah. The reserve baths were really nice. It's been a good trip. It isn't over yet, but it's kind of strange to think that I'm officially an adult now. Right. Once the clock turns 12, Nanami's birthday will be over. I got her a present, but I don't know if it's really okay to give it to her. Oh, I don't even have the option? What is it? Oh, I was just thinking that I hadn't said this yet. Happy birthday, Nanami. Thanks, Haru. It's kind of funny, isn't it? We've been together since we were children, and soon we'll both be adults. We've grown up, haven't we? Yeah. But nothing's changed. That makes me really happy. Well... I would assume things have changed. At least for them. You'll always be my oldest and my best friend, Haru. 
Thanks for being here with me. Yeah, of course, always. You really have to meet my boyfriend sometime. He's always saying that he wants to meet you since I talk about you so much. Yeah, sometime. How about we all go out for dinner? I have to check my schedule. Oh, of course. Just let me know whenever you're free and we'll make time. I can't wait. I think you'll really like him. I'm sure I will. He's your boyfriend. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, I'm feeling a bit sleepy again. I think I'll go back to bed. How about you? I think I'll enjoy the view for a little bit longer. Okay then, good night. Good night. Anami's boyfriend, huh? I'm sure he got her a wonderful present. A present from me would probably just be a bother. Uh, sure? I think I'll go to sleep too. Just a bit later. I mean, I want gifts from everybody. Friend, partner, family, the more the merrier. It's morning. Good morning, Haru. Good morning, Nanami. Nagata is still asleep. Yeah, I thought so. I don't think she'll wake up before breakfast. Oh. It's okay. We can just buy something on the way home. We still need to go souvenir shopping, too. Souvenirs, huh? I never know what to buy. There's always so many kinds. Hee <laughs> hee. What is it? You said that before, too. Really? Yep, on our school trip when we were still in junior high st when we were still junior high students. We were buying souvenirs on the last day. Everyone was already finished, but you still hadn't decided. You said there were too many kinds for you to choose just one. So in the end, we ran out of time, and you didn't buy anything. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember that. You ended up sharing yours with me. Haha, <laughs> I did. You really haven't changed at all, Haru. Even though we've been friends so long. Haha. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go check us out first, so why don't you get changed? After Erica wakes up, come down to the lobby. Okay, see you later. I wonder if I really haven't changed. Mm -hmm. Hi, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Haru? Yeah, let's go. I'll need the time to choose my souvenir. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't worry, I'll help you pick this time. What, does Suzuki need help choosing souvenirs? They have some really good red bean pancakes here, apparently. Really? I love red bean pancakes. Let's go take a look then. Yeah! Nanami and one. Friends forever. Okay, so basically I just didn't get a chance to go in the hot springs at all in this one. Okay. Oops. Not what I meant. Actually, while we're here... Sorry. I just can't. Haru. Sorry. It's okay. I understand. I'll think of a different plan for my birthday. No, don't. You don't have to. I'll call you again once I've decided. Beep. She hung up. Nanami's the same as usual. I'm glad she's doing well. But she's wrong. She says that nobody cares as much as I think they do, but... That's because she thinks everybody is as good as a person as her. And why wouldn't she? She's never had anything happen to prove her otherwise. Her parents are the best, always understanding, even about me. Her mom even took me shopping for new clothes after I came out to her. They've always been so kind to me with Nanami's birthday trip, too. I bet Nanami really wanted to go to that hot springs for her birthday. Maybe I shouldn't have said no. I could have just stayed out of the baths. I guess it's too late now. I'll just wait for Nanami to contact me again. Just like ending zero. Normal end. Let's try something else. Instant ending. Okay. Um, I want to see. Oh, not this one. Um,. Was it this one? 
Yeah. And then I want to say... Wait, is this... Oh, wait, this is a different one. I knew this would happen. I have a lose track. Um... Wait, but I thought... Let's see. Was it this one? Yeah, I didn't go in. I want to see if the balcony is any different. Okay. And then... Um... Let's do I'm a bit tired so that we get the balcony scene again. I can stay up for a little bit longer. Yay, let's head over to the window. Maybe in this one she gives her the gift. The moon is really beautiful tonight. It really is. I love how quiet it is. It's too bad you didn't get to enter the big baths. It's okay. I'm happy I got to... Okay, so this is a little different. Saying this beautiful rokan. Oh yeah, that's what they're called, rokan. Be here for your birthday. I got to be here with you to celebrate your birthday. That's enough for me. Haru, it's fine, Nanami. Thanks for inviting me. It's been a good trip. It isn't over yet. Okay, let me see. So we can give her the present now. Haru, are you okay? Actually, I got you a present. Wow, really? Thank you. Or it should have been like, wow, really? Thank you. Uh, but I don't have it on me right now. Could I give it to you in the morning? Oh, of course. Then tomorrow. I think I'm going to head to bed. Hey, Haru. You know you can tell me anything, right? Anything. Ha, <laughs> what's up with you? Nothing, but I just... You don't have to worry about me. Good night. Good night. I wish you'd be more honest with me, Haru. Oh, wow. It's morning. All right. Oh, this looks a little different. Good morning. What time is it? A little late. We should check out soon. Oh, I said I would give Nanami the present. So if I don't give it to her, she'll think it's weird. Haru? Would you close your eyes for a moment? Okay. Oh, is it necklace or something? Okay, just stay still for a moment. Sure, but why? Just wait. Okay. Okay, you can open your eyes. Happy birthday. I put my present for you in your bag. But don't open it until you get home, okay? W why? Please, just don't. O okay? This is weird. Haru, is there anything you want to tell me? If you do, I want you to tell me, no matter what it is. Did you hear me talking yesterday? I did. But you never tell me anything, Haru. Even when I'm worried, if I ask, you just tell me you're fine. Even when you're obviously not fine. But I don't want to pry. If I had known you were having such a tough time at school, I would have... Sorry, Nanami. I just didn't want to trouble you. Trouble me? You're my best friend. You can never be trouble to me. You mean the world to me. I'm so sorry I couldn't do anything to help. No, it's not your fault. I never told you anything. I just, I just didn't want you to treat me differently. Everyone treats me differently because, because I'm trans. But not you, Nanami. You've always treated me the same, as your friend. And I was so scared of doing anything that might change that. Haru. I'm sorry, Nanami. No, I'm sorry you felt you couldn't tell me. Nothing you could say could ever change how I feel about you. You will always be my best and dearest friend. Nanami, I want you to be honest with me. Did I make you uncomfortable by asking you to come on this trip? Oh dear. So many endings! Okay. I'm happy you asked me. I did feel a bit unsure about what to do, but I feel happy you invited me to this girls only trip. Of course I invited you. Thanks, Nanami. Promise me you won't keep any more secrets? I promise. 
Is there anything else you want to tell me before we go? Uh, there's so many. I've said everything I want to say, but if you have any questions, I'll promise I'll answer them honestly too. Thanks, Haru, for talking to me and for the present. No, thank you for listening and accepting the present. I mean, did she really accept it if she doesn't know what it is and she can't open it till later? Haru? Morning. You two are up early. It's not early at all. We have to go check out soon. Shouldn't we be getting ready to go then? We really should. We need to get changed. We managed to check out in time. Somehow. I'm hungry though. Well, we haven't eaten breakfast. Want to go see what there is to eat in town? We haven't really had a chance to look around. Oh, that sounds fun. I think I'll head back first. Did you have something to do today? I'm just a bit tired, that's all. That's too bad. Want to head out then, Nanami? Will you be on okay on your own, Haru? I'll be fine, I promise. Okay then, let's go, Erika. See you later, Haru. See you, Suzuki. Bye. This was for the best. I hope Nanami likes her present. Is, are they going to tell us what the present was? Nope. Oh, well, honesty is like a gift. And two. Wait, didn't we already get it? And number two? Oh, it's a um, bow. I see. Like, I thought the other ending... I, got, I thought the first ending we got was number two. And then we got one. And then we got, quote, normal. Which I think is, like, ending zero. I could be misremembering, but I don't think so. Okay, so let's do... What's... I did feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. I wasn't sure I really belonged on this girls-only trip. Of course you do! Thanks, Tanami. Oh, so, yeah, that was a... Uh. I told you everything I want to tell you right now. But, if you have questions... Okay. Yeah, so that was the same ending. <coughs> Throat's getting a little tired. Let's see. I got to stay in this beautiful Rokan. Normally, I never go to a place like this. But still, it's fine, Nanami. Thanks for inviting me. It's been a good trip. It isn't over yet. I don't think any of this will change To be honest Yeah, this is probably the same Yeah, okay Um, let's see I wonder Is there another ending? Which one? You like Nanami, don't you? You don't have to say anything. You know that she's... You know, right? Yeah, I know. She talks about her boyfriend a lot. Alright, so that's probably... Inconsequential. I think this is when she was like, Did you have a chance to enjoy? No, I didn't go in. It's fine. Is that so? It's actually... It actually isn't uncommon for people who want to use the baths... Alone. Want to bathe alone to use the bath at this time. People who may be concerned about others looking at them, for example. The baths are still open, so please feel free to use them. I hope you have a pleasant night. Let's see. How do that be okay? I think before he said that, so let's do it. Haru? I don't know what Erika's thinking, but I don't really want to need Nanami's boyfriend right now. I'll be fine, Nanami. Say hi to your boyfriend for us. Okay. So see, that's what I was thinking, like... Oh, Erika and two. Oh, so there's... Um... Okay, I see. I think the other N2 was an Erika quote, N2. Let's see. One night. 
See how many endings there are. Let's see. Uh, Nanami ending one, friends forever. Honestly, it's like, so we got Nanami ending one and ending two. Then we got Erica ending. Okay. I think there's a lot more endings than I thought. Oh, I think we're just missing two. Okay. Because we got Erica ending too. The world can be kind too. We got the normal ending. Do we get Erica ending one? Uh. Okay. We might be missing Erica ending one. So let's try that. Let's see. So I think that's this one. Oh no, it has to be... Let's see, I'm looking at this now. What's this one? Um, I need to go to like the beginning of this conversation, I'm pretty sure. Which is this one? What do you want to talk about? And then... I wasn't a guy before. It's not like I was a guy before. I've always been a girl. Just my appearance doesn't completely match who I am. Sorry, I shouldn't have phrased it that way. What was your name again? I heard it in check-in. Haruto, right? Okay. Thank for listening. I want to see this real quick. It's okay. I'm used to it. Sorry, I just asked because I was curious. I didn't really think too much about it. It's fine. Okay. Definitely owe you one. Okay. But to get the ending, we have to do this one, I think. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Oh. Let's see. But for some reason, this ending... We say, don't go. Sorry, I just can't. I'm still a male legally. I don't feel like it's okay for me to go into the female space. But that's just legally, right? Transgender means that even if you have a guy's body, you're still really a girl, right? Yes, but... Sorry, Erica. I just can't. Go without me. Fine. I won't push it. I'll probably take a while, so head to sleep first, okay? pretty late. I should get some sleep. It's morning. You finally awake. I thought you would never wake up. Oh, wait. I thought you two would never wake up. You too? Erica's still asleep. Talking about me behind my back? That's so mean of you, Nanami. No, I was just saying... I'm just kidding. Morning, you two. Good morning. I guess it's time to check out. It is. You two miss breakfast. It's okay. I'm not that hungry anyway. Speak for yourself. I want breakfast. I thought you might say that. So actually, I got an attendant to pack me one breakfast bento for each of us. I'll check us out. So while I'm doing that, you two should get dressed. I'll wait for you in the lobby. I will never understand how she could be so energetic in the morning. Me either. I guess we should get changed. Yeah. Oh, but before you go, hmm? Sorry. What for? I was kind of insensitive this whole trip. I didn't mean to be, but I know I made you feel uncomfortable. But I think I know a little better now. Would you forgive me? You listen to me. Not everyone does. Let's get changed then. Don't want to keep Nanami waiting. Right, we should hurry. Lucian. 
Finally, what took you two so long? Oh, come on, it wasn't that long. Where are those breakfasts you mentioned? Right here. I didn't eat breakfast yet either, so we can eat them together on the train ride back. Oh, I... I plan on taking a different train, like when I came here. What? Don't tell me you're going on a different train. We're all headed the same direction, right? Let's head back together. I want to head back together too. I still have lots I want to talk about. Me too. So, it's decided then. Yay, let's go! Okay, that's really weird. Like, you're dead ass going the same direction and you want it to not go that way. Erica and one. New friend, new adventures. Okay. I feel like it would have made more sense to me if this was new friend, new adventures when uh, Erica was like, Oh, I'm gonna take Haru out on the town. Why is it like when they're not hanging out? Okay, so we got new friend, new adventure. The world can be kind to. Let's try something else. Honesty is like a gift. I'm missing... I think I'm missing hot springs are okay. Oh, this website is like jamming up my RAM. Okay, but hold on. Hot springs are not okay. All right, so we need to get the bad ending. Two bad endings. Okay. Uh, let me... Let me take a picture of this so I can close this web page that has like a billion ads that are like slowing down my computer. Did we get the Friends Forever ending? I thought we did. Okay, hold on. Let me close this. Alright, it might be easier. Let's see. Alright, it might just be easier to uh, follow the guide and just if they have reserve baths. Uh, that would be me. I see. Your room is the ginkgo room on the second floor. Please enjoy your stay. Let's go to our room then. Alright, so there's, that was a little bit different. Um, give up on the family bath. I can just take a shower back in my room. That won't cause any trouble for anyone else. It's a nice room too. I can relax until dinner. No point in loitering here. Alright. And then get in a quick nap. Oh, I guess we couldn't even shower in this one. Maybe I'll get in a quick nap. I'm already kind of tired. Okay, and then they said save here. The futon is out already, but the Tommy is nice. I'll just take a quick nap. Wow, time passed pretty quickly. Nanami and Nagata should be back soon. Alright, we're back. And then I have to say they were great. Which we saw already. And then, oh, this one we can't even talk to her even if we want it to, like in the other routes. Which is odd because it's like, I'm tired, but she took a nap, you know? And then, what was this? We don't want to sleep yet. Oh, so this really is the super bad ending. You don't get to do anything. Are you okay? Yep, it's just been a long day. If you say so, I'm gonna head out to get something to drink. Good night. Sorry, Nanami. I'm just not up for a conversation right now. I should get some sleep. It's morning. It doesn't look like anyone else is awake yet. I think I'll get changed. I left a note in the room telling Nanami I would be leaving first. I'm just a bit too exhausted to talk to anyone right now. I tried my best to enjoy this hot spring trip, but I guess it's just impossible for me. I just want to go home to my bed. I'll apologize to Nanami over the phone later. For now, I just don't want to be here anymore. Oh, I don't think I would have came across this bad ending on my own. 
I mean, maybe if I did a lot of hit and misses, but bad end. Hot springs are not okay. Okay. So let's do good ending. Hot springs are okay. I don't think we got that one yet. I'll take a quick nap. And then we say, I didn't go in. And then... Oh, wait. Uh, it's fine. I was feeling tired anyway, so I took a nap. Okay, then. I'm fine, Nanami. Did you two enjoy the hot spring? So that was a little slightly different. And then here... I say I'm a bit tired, so... And then we still head to sleep? That's weird, because I feel like... This one is not a bad ending, but she still didn't talk to Nanami and she didn't talk to Erica. Hey, sleepyhead. Erica, you were sleeping until five minutes ago. That was five minutes ago. This is now. You should get changed. It's time to check out. Erica and I will go down to the lobby first. Okay, I'll see you there. See you. Don't take too long. Oh, sorry. Don't take too long. Time to change out of this yukata then. Did you finish checking out? Ages ago. You can't ignore Erica. We just finished. That's so mean, Nanami. Shush. We were talking about eating breakfast in town, but what do you think? Breakfast? That's a good idea. We haven't looked around town yet. Awesome. I'll go check the bus schedule. You seem to be in a good mood. Really? Yep. Did you enjoy the trip? Did I enjoy the trip? Uh... Hold on. <laughs> I just want to see. It was a bit tiring. Oh no, are you okay? I still enjoyed it though. That's good then. Hey, the bus is going to be here soon. Okay, let's go. Come on, Haru. Do I still get the ending hot springs are okay? Good end. Hot springs are okay. So I did. It said I was supposed to pick the other option to get the... So I guess that one didn't matter. Let's see the other option. It was great. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm glad to hear it. Hey, the bus is going to be here soon. <gasps> okay, let's go. Come on, Haru. Okay, let's see. And then... Let's see... Did we do Friends Forever? I feel like we didn't. I think Friends Forever is the last one we need, though. So then... Let's do... This one. Um, I didn't go in. I'm a bit tired. And then... Oh, no. Keep Nanami company. And then we say... Oh, it looks like it doesn't matter. Well, let me save just in case. It looks like it doesn't matter with... Wait, no, no, no. Saying this beautiful Rokan. And then just wish a happy birthday. Oh yeah, so we did get this one. This was the red bean one. Okay, so I think we got all... It looks like six endings? Yeah, I think we got all the endings. Oh no, it says playtime is about 30 minutes with seven, seven endings total. Oh man, I should have been tallying <laughs> the endings. Or I wish it told me if I got all the endings. Did we get seven? Let's see. Oh, okay. Nanami, friends forever. Honesty is like a gift. New friend, new adventures. The world can be kind too. Hot springs are okay. Let's try something else. Hot springs are not okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah. So we did get all seven. That's everything. Thank you for playing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
Oh, there's more? Haru, it's me, Nanami. I just wanted to talk. I was chatting with my mom about the trip, and she says she misses you. You should come over for dinner soon. My boyfriend makes a delicious pie. Hi, Haru. It's Nanami. Thank you so much for the gift. It's such a lovely hair clip. I have something I want to ask, but I think it better be in person. I'll call you again, okay? Oh, no. Yo, Haru. It's me, Erika. I got your number from Nanami. Oh. Yo, Haru. It's me, Erika. I got your number from Nanami. I feel bad for asking so many questions, so let me treat you to lunch or something. Nothing too expensive, though. Wow, I didn't know they had little extras here. I have your souvenir. You forgot it on the train. If you want it, there we go. you can treat me to lunch. There's this vegan ramen place in Tokyo that I want to go to. This is Erica, by the way. Hi, Haru. It's Nanami. Thank you for coming to the hot springs with me. It was really fun. Let's meet again soon. Hi, Haru. It's Nanami. Call me back when you get this. I was thinking that we could go to a theme park instead of the hot springs for my birthday trip. Let me know what you think. Haru, it's Nanami. I got your message. Are you okay? You said you were just tired, but I could tell you were feeling uncomfortable. Just call me back, okay? Aww. Sad. That's everything. Thank you for playing. Okay, so this link actually just uh, led to the website. All right, and I think that's it. Oh, okay, so you can change the music here. Nice. All right. Wait, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to just return to the main menu. Uh... All right, so that was all seven endings of One Night Hot Springs. I hope you enjoyed my pick for Mental Health Awareness Month. I thought this would be a good pick because it talks about the lived experiences of a trans woman in a different culture. And as you can imagine, I mean, just from the story alone, you could tell that being a minority, whether that's about gender or sexuality or even the color of your skin, can have an impact on one's mental health. So that's why I thought this was a great pick for this month. So you can get a different perspective than usual. I mean, you might be uh, someone who lives in Japan. But at least for me, this was definitely a different perspective for me. So I hope you enjoyed this pick. I'll include some links in the description for mental health resources if you're interested in looking at that. But thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you liked it. And you can support me by subscribing to my channel and you'll get more visual novel playthroughs and other great content. Great Let's Play content. Okay, thank you again. Bye-bye.